Hey there, so we're in the town of Novak. It is the next town down from Nipton. We're still tracking the man who shot me. Um, so we're trying to ask around the locals to see if they know anything about that. So let's go in here. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Okay. Let's check the dino mouth. Well, you're not Manny, but we'll talk to you anyway. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? My bad. Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? If you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I just wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. You always treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. And why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. And if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know she's dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. All right. Well... We'll keep an eye out for Boone's wife's killer while we ask around town some more. Whoa. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Interesting that she would tell me about Boone's wife wanting to leave. It's not at all what Boone said. We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie Mae Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps, and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain, sell, said slave, and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Hmm. Bill of Sale. <sighs> the invisible woman must die. It's a glitch with her. 
outfit. Hey, Howdy, Victor's here. Hey there, friend. What are you doing here? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Quite the coincidence. Seeing how this is the only road around, I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Hmm. Just stay out of my way. I'll let that slide, seeing as how you got a mind full of vengeance for that no good polecat and all. We found a witch. May we burn her? That's that. <clears throat> Welcome. Come on in. Thanks. That's it then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. What do you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Let's go after them together. You don't want to do that. We'll kill more with the two of us. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Fine by me. Before we leave, gotta go talk to a few more people. So Cliff mentioned that Manny Vargas knows where the man went. What's going on, man? Looking for a man in checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Got a score to sell. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak? It's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. I'll see what I can It'd do. It'd mean a lot. Wow. That's, uh, that's phallic. All right, so now we have to clear out some ghouls from the test site. Let's go see if somebody can port us in the right direction. Careful. 
Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. So, who tried to make you talk? Confound it, no bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Why do they call you no bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. Anything interesting in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. All right. Thanks for the directions. But what do you think's actually going on there, then? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Um, anything in, anything around town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> That's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. They see the predicament we're in. What else do you know about the deaths at the corral? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night. Whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Hmm. Well, see you later. Alright, well, we know where to go now to clear out the ghouls. Just need to go a little further down the road. This place has some good stuff to sell, so we want to stop here and get some supplies for our journey. <sighs> uh, where's old Lady Gibson? Ah, hey. Hi there. I'm old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Hmm. I might go there later. Gotta get that scrap. Another satisfied customer. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Hmm. Very interesting. Alright. Well, 
I think it's time we set off for the test site, which is across those mountains. So we'll go and clear out the ghouls so that we can get more information about the man who shot me and continue our journey. So I think that's going to be something for the next time. See you then. Bye.